The boys are calling you the Silver Fox. <laughs> Rick and Marty Lagina are about to join the operation to help Dumas reach the potential treasure tunnel located just below the garden shaft. What are we going to do? Explain to us what we're going to do. So uh, we got to excavate a little bit more. We got to chip some of that clay. Right. And then we can put another set in. OK. Where now is 90, 93 feet. Got to be within two feet, then, something like uh, that. Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's get suited up and have a go at this, big brother. <laughs> <laughs> Before Dumas can finish construction on the final wooden set that will extend the garden shaft into the tunnel, several feet of hard clay must be removed. It is a task that Rick and Marty are more than eager to help complete. Well, it's going to be exciting to go down in that shaft and actually do some digging and maybe be part of unearthing an original tunnel would be incredibly gratifying. All kinds of thoughts are streaming through my head. I mean, you can't help it. This is an exciting moment. Ready. We're going to go down deep into the garden shaft, big brother and I. All set. Let's go. My brother and I are going to be miners, and our heritage is mining. Our grandfather came here in order to work in the mines of Michigan. It's really a, an amazing thing that's happening here, a confluence of heritage. Very good. That's right. Now we can begin. Marty, that's going to be your corner over there. That's going to be over there. OK. Yours is called the destroyer. Mine is? Yeah, yours is the destroyer. All right. You got Big Betsy. Cool. Well, here's the deal, Rick. You could be standing a couple feet above the tunnel we've been looking for for at least two years. Right, right there. We could. We are. OK, well, let's get busy. How do you work this thing? OK. This is about 60 pounds. Like a little bit at a time? Off. Yeah, OK. Pump going on. Oh, on. Silver Fox and his brother are ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> There's the air going. In order to break up the hard clay below the shaft, Rick and Marty are using a pneumatic jackhammer. Then, representatives from Dumas Contracting Limited will use the three-ton hammer grab tool to remove the materials. Yeah, baby! This is no job for old men. <laughs> Jackhammers themselves weigh 60 or 70 pounds. They tend to get stuck in the clay. It is some of the hardest work I've done in many years. All right, break time. Oh. <laughs> in the moment, I'm an Isaac Boots guy. I'm down there. I want to get that clay out of the hole. I want to find the tunnel. I, I didn't think of much else, to be honest. What do you think you hit? The last spade bit, and I thought I hit something different. See that? Try digging right up there. Look at that. It's nothing. It's really soft. Do you have a bar? Do you have a bar down here? Yeah, right there. Right, right there, by here. I don't know if that's rock or wood. But it's I mean, movable right there. Coming in. I thought uh, at the bottom of the spade bit that I was on top of something. And I thought, wow, wow, maybe, maybe I'm on a tunnel. Could Rick Lagina's speculation that he may have reached the mysterious and potentially ancient tunnel be correct? If so, the team may be closer than ever to the answers and reward that they worked for more than a decade to uncover. There's something right there. It's that far away. Yeah. Right there is a relative term, though, isn't it? Right That's there is a relative yeah. term. Yeah. All right, well, we got it all loosened up for you. <laughs> <laughs> so now the hammer grab yeah, is going to come down? Uh, yeah, well, hammer so grab will clean that hole. Yeah. Wood delineates man-made things, obviously, when it's way underground. Oh, yeah. So we need to keep going. We could be closer than we've ever been to this actual treasure or to where it was deposited. So when we start through the tunnel, you guys are going to come down for a day or what? Yes. Yeah, try and keep us out. That's going to be an experience. 
That would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta be really close. Yeah, we, we gotta are. be. Yeah, we are. Later that afternoon. So it seems like we hit your target, finally. You found her. Yeah. <laughs> Rick Lakina, Scott Barlow, and Craig Tester have just received long-awaited news. After extending the garden shaft to an approximate depth of 95 feet in the Money Pit area, representatives from Dumas Contracting Limited have finally reached a believed seven-foot-high tunnel that leads toward the baby blob and perhaps a vast cache of buried treasure. You can actually see wood. Okay. But it's either collapsed or whatever. Who knows what? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Until we uncover more of it. Uh. Okay. Well, get us dressed. Let's okay. get going. Okay. Hey, finally, we can actually put eyes and boots on the tunnel that was found by the sonic drill program. You get a little bit of chills. Let's go take a peek. It's been frustratingly slow at times, but it's exciting. Good take luck, guys. Take your picture. Thanks. If it was original, it's our belief that we're talking hundreds of years ago. Oh, now that's, that raises the bar. There's hope, there's promise, there's the, you might find the one thing. So I think there are some answers here. There you go. OK, so what are we looking at here, Paul? So that's where we got the sample out of the wood. Do you feel anything? Uh, yeah, there's definitely wood right here. See your bar here. Yeah, so we, we drove that bar that was just uh, for a guiding. Yeah. So here's a round log there. Oh, OK. OK. Right here, that's wood? That's wood right there. Oh, you yeah. <laughs> See, there's some wood right there. But that's right here. See that right there? That looks like wood there, too. You know, there's something going on there. Definitely wood. There's the wrong log, right? You see the end. Hear that? Yeah, it's on hollow. Yeah. Listen to that. That's that's one of the beams. This beam, not hollow like that. Yeah. There's only so much you can see between the clay, the water, but it's real, and that's the important part. There's a wood structure down there, and at that point it becomes okay. It can't stop now. If you want to expose more of it, we can add one more section and then go deeper. That'll give us another yes. 32 mm -hmm. inches. Yeah, we can do you, that. Have to, you have to go deeper. Yeah, absolutely. The board this way, if you pound on it, it sounds hollow to me. Like there's air, empty space below that. Right. And that would be, to me, that would be indicative of the top of the tunnel. We did probe the logs that were in line with the projection. It seemed hollow underneath it. Hit that, hit that one timber. It sounds hollow to me. Yep. And the hope is to extend the shaft to explore this further. We'll excavate square enough and then keep digging. It's exciting seeing round timbers down there. To me, round timbers are a great indication it's potentially old. You, you have to go back to the original story, right? You know, logs every 10 feet in the money pit. Logs, that's the description. It's an interesting possible connection. Round timbers associated with the original construct of the money pit and a round timber here. When I look back and think about reading the Reader's Digest article, it does bring your mind back to round logs in the original money pit, round logs in this feature. And so I don't have to believe that we're making progress at solving the mystery. I know we are. If we only saw square timbers down there, I think that we're more into more modern search of times. So we'll just square off the, the excavation and we'll add another section on top yeah. and then we'll be ready to dig for another three feet and we'll be right on top of the, the structure. I mean, you can't help but let your mind go on this. <laughs> After 15 years, we may be just a few feet above original work. It could be it, it could be the thing. I am very excited that this is going to lead us to a treasure. Yeah, it's gonna be, uh, gonna be quite a day when we set eyes on it completely. Let's get it done.